Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be solving the lead code question power of 4. So this is a pretty simple question and we're given an integer and we need to write a function to check whether or not it's a power of 4. So in this case, let's say we're given an input of 16 and we know that 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 16. And in that case, 16 is a power of 4, so we're going to return true. But on the other hand, uh, 5 is not a power of 4, so we're going to return false. So let's see how we can solve this question. So in order to solve this question, we can use logarithms in order to do that. So how do we know whether something is a power of 4? So let's say we have the number n, and we're going to do log with a base of 4 to n. So log base 4 n. And if that is equal to an integer value and not a floating point, that means that it is a power of 4. So we can use the change of base. So basically what that means is, so we have log base 4 of n. And we can rewrite that as log n divided by whatever the base is. So in this case, the base is 4. So we're going to do log n divided by log 4. And that is going to give us an answer. And then we're going to check whether or not that answer is an integer. And if it is, we're going to return true. So in order to solve this, we need to uh, be able to use the log function. And we can import that from math. So from math, we're going to import log. Okay, so now we can use the log function. So now we need to do a few checks. So if our number is equal to or less than uh, zero. And in that case, it's never going to be a power of four because you cannot log a negative number. So in that case, we're going to return false no matter what. So now that we got past this, what we're going to do is we're going to find the log base four of our number. So I'm just going to call this result res and we're going to do the same form a formula that we had. So log of our number divided by log of 4 since that's going to be our base and now if our result is an integer we're going to return true and how can we and if it's not we're going to return false so all we're going to do is return and this is an inbuilt function i think it's called is underscore int and it's going to return true or false whether it's an integer or not so let's submit our solution okay so a small mistake this is actually supposed to be is integer so integer and yeah that should be correct so submit that all right and as you can see our submission did get accepted and finally do let me know if you have any questions regarding this or if you have any better solution and thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you thank you